Even as a side hustle, you can pay for your family holiday at the end of the year, just from one hour a day. And like an expensive family holiday as well. If you're really committed, you can quit your job like I did and go and pursue it full time. Now today I thought I'd come to you with a video because I'm feeling super motivated today. And as you can see, I've got a band on my arm and this band is from a seminar that I intended today. And that seminar was one that was hosted by a chap called John Lee. Now John Lee is some kind of multi-millionaire. He's an entrepreneur, he did property, he now runs his own consulting courses. Now, I didn't really know who this guy was, but I got an advert through on social media and it came through and said free seminar free seminar in my local area. So I thought, hey, what is the harm in signing up to do that? So essentially I signed up for this and then I also asked my business partner, Ukshin, if he wanted to come along as well. Uh, he signed up also, but he had a bit of a, his brother had a bit of an accident last night, some kind of dinner-based wrist injury. He wasn't able to attend today, unfortunately. So I thought, screw it, I'll go by myself. I had one of those rare weekends where I wasn't out going out and having drinks with the boys, which meant I woke up on Saturday super fresh, like I had no plans. So I was like, well, today's the day I'm gonna invest in myself. So I signed up for this free seminar. There were paid tickets as well, but as it's the first one I've ever gone to, I just thought I'll go with the free one, see how it goes. And I can tell you that it was very inspirational. And essentially I've come out of there today absolutely raring to go on this new business, and to grow the business I'm doing at the minute. And I just thought I'd share a bit of that motivation with you guys. Now, I suppose the point of this video is to say that sometimes you just need to invest in yourself. Some people will look at maybe a shirt that's, you know, 50 pounds. Actually, this, this shirt specifically that I'm wearing, I can't remember the brand, it's quite a nice one. Jack Wheels, I think it is. Anyway, it's a nice shirt, I love it. I think I look good, pink suits me. But the point is that 50 pounds for a shirt, okay, it's a pink shirt, you know, Chances are probably I'll wear this 15 to 20 times before it starts to look a little bit haggard and I'll just donate it to charity and get a new one. But the point is I went to a free seminar today and it cost me nothing and I've gained so much value in terms of motivation. I gained a lot of knowledge whilst I was there as well actually. Uh, a lot of the stuff, stuff that I was doing already I was aware of but sometimes you just need people to sort of refresh your memory on things and point you in the right direction. So. Basically, what I'm saying is you need to invest in yourself. Now, if I was to look back at myself 10 years ago, I would absolutely despise the person that I was because I used to spend so much of my time just entertaining myself, just like recreational stuff. And even if I was to look at the time when I was back at university, my God, the amount of time that I wasted. I was you know, playing on video games, like we were going out drinking, being social. Sure, it's good to be social. I learned a lot from the interactions that I had. But there's so much time that I was wasted. I had probably six, six to eight hours of lectures and seminars a week. <laughs> and that is nothing. With a bit of traveling time here and there, a bit of research time in the library. But essentially, I didn't really knuckle down that much. I still ended up coming out with the 2-1 because I can just coast through sometimes on my natural brains. But a lot of the time, brains don't get you everywhere. It's about how you use this and applying this and putting the right things in. Um, I used to watch TV a lot. Now, I can tell you, I watch zero TV, absolutely zero. I'm not even utilizing my Netflix prescription. Prescription? Subscription. <laughs> it's not like a medical thing. I'm not even utilizing my Netflix subscription at all, really, to be honest. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it's not mine, it's someone else's. But the point is, I don't use it. Because I spend most of my time now, one on the University of YouTube, like uh, you guys are here today, like I'm dropping knowledge bombs, trying to give you some kind of education every single video, just to help you guys along. And basically I'm trying to give back to the community now because I gained so much knowledge learning from people like Nick Hills predominantly. He's been going for a long time. He is like the godfather of reselling in the UK on YouTube. And I he gave me motivation to go ahead and do my thing and show me that it was actually feasible to go and run your own business off what is basically a limited knowledge of how to list things on the internet and an understanding of the value of products. And it's crazy to think, really. Like in business, you can achieve anything. You don't have to be the best. You just have to be different or work hard. Essentially, that's it. So I spend a lot of my time now 
mostly on YouTube learning. I'm enjoying video production, so I'm learning about the video production techniques, which is also gonna aid in my business. Photography, finding it super enjoyable. If you guys are into photography, watch a chap called Peter McKinnon on YouTube. He's insanely good. Uh, Casey Neistat, he was a filmmaker, uh, and then he just moved on to YouTube. His stuff's really inspirational as well. His editing technique's fantastic. So I'm hoping to bring some of these editing techniques to these videos, so hopefully they get a little bit snazzier. And now also I read. So, okay, the cost of a book, right? YouTube costs nothing. You can learn so much from YouTube. That seminar I went to today cost nothing, although I probably would have preferred to pay for the more expensive ticket because I would have received a book that I could read. Uh, I love reading. I think that's one of the best ways to absorb knowledge. And just, I'm trying to put the right stuff in. And you invest, you invest in yourself, one, with time, and you can do two with money, but you just got to put the right stuff in here. If you're going to watch Coronation Street or EastEnders, there's a load of people whinging, moaning, shouting at each other. You're not going to gain anything in your life from watching those kind of things. I like to watch inspirational stuff that is going to lift me to the next level. But when you do invest in yourself, I feel like sometimes when you pay to invest in yourself, you gain more from it because it means more to you you feel like I've committed to something and therefore I'm gonna do it. So I've purchased an online course for digital marketing. I purchased two online courses for digital marketing to help me gain a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more experience based like, building on that foundation that I originally created. This is easily the best investment I ever made in myself. This particular book, I did a whole video about it and how I'm applying it to my, to my, uh, my business and my lifestyle, but I basically I bought a new copy because I read it before on the Kindle paid for that and now bought um, a paperback coffee copy as well because I kind of enjoy reading it's just a physical book it just feels a little bit better reading a physical book rather than through and like I can draw in it and I can annotate and whatnot but this particular book changed my life um, I thoroughly recommend that you guys go and read it as well invest in yourselves I've got an affiliate link down below for that book and uh, I recommend you go and read it essentially if you go and buy that through my affiliate link, I will get a very small commission off the back of it, and it's a very, very small commission. But essentially, I've come to realize that doing this YouTube channel, I'm not actually gonna make any money out of it whatsoever. So if you're enjoying the content I'm providing you guys, then maybe consider buying that through my link, and it'll give me a tiny little get kick back to say thank you for some of the videos and the knowledge that I'm providing. But that book changed my life. That book absolutely changed my life, and I'm working my way through more now, and as I'll find ones that are good and are valuable, I'm only gonna recommend stuff to you that's added value to my life, so you guys can benefit from that as well. But essentially, today's video is just to say, invest in yourself, guys. Like, sure, it's good to entertain yourself, but if you just save, if you just apply one hour a day to investing in yourself, the benefits you're gonna receive are gonna be astronomical. Your life will improve so much whether it be learning how to cook better, whether it be improving your business, whether learning how to do a, a new side hustle that's gonna generate money. And you know, allocating that one hour a day, if you were to learn the processes that I'm doing, and eBay and Amazon, even as a side hustle, you can pay for your family holiday at the end of the year, just from one hour a day, and like an expensive family holiday as well. If you're really committed, you can quit your job like I did, and go and pursue it full time. Best decision I've ever made. All right guys, now it's time for question of the week. This comment comes from Ibs Yusuf. Ibs, you've commented on a couple of my videos. Thanks for the interaction, buddy. Always a pleasure to hear from you. Ibs says, hi mate, love your videos. Just wondering how many hours you put in each day and if I'm able to do RA while studying. Cheers. Now, Ibs, as you can tell from the rest of this video, talking about investing in yourself and being motivated, at university, I had so much free time that I wish I knew what I knew doing the business I'm doing right now when I was there. Because I probably could have paid for my entire tuition fees through doing this reselling and doing this retail arbitrage. Yeah, essentially... Definitely, 100% you're going to have time. Anyone who's got a full-time job with kids can do this business and still pay for their family holiday. So yes, 100%, you do have time to do this whilst traveling. Now, the question to how many hours I put in a day, I do try to target a normal nine to five day, Monday to Friday. But if I'm completely honest with you guys, yeah, it's, uh, it ebbs and flows. 
It's, I'm pretty slack most of the time unless there's super, super good opportunities out there. If I find an absolute fire product, I will traverse the country to go and get it. And when I do my, uh, my half year sales update, I'm going to highlight some of the areas where this has been true for me. Um, but that's coming through in the future, so I'll save that content for another video. But in terms of hours that I invest, I would probably say, if I'm honest, six hours a day, Monday to Friday. Or at times that could go like morning to night, five, seven days a week. It really depends how much you want to get out of it. So once you get into a good process, I mean, my advice would be get into a good routine, uh, do certain tasks day in, day out, week in, week out. And that way, you're just going to keep things ticking over almost on autopilot, which is kind of where I'm at. And I've kind of, I can work less hours if I want because I've streamlined my things and I know what the top priorities are so I can target certain products or certain stores or certain processes that are going to generate cash for me without me necessarily having to invest any more time than I need to. And the rest of it will probably will be analysis or bookkeeping or, you know, at the end of the quarter, I've got that return to do. That takes up a lot of time. But you won't have to. If you're just starting out, you don't have to do that. I thoroughly recommend nobody gets back registered because it's horrible. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Ibs. Your comments are always welcome. Good luck getting it going whilst you're studying. It's completely achievable. Crack on. Go for it, buddy. But that's it, guys. What can I say? Just invest in yourselves. Invest in yourselves and good things will come. Anyway, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.